Hey, what's up guys? Skyload here. Today I'm going to be doing a video on an A1261 uh, Classic MacBook Pro. Now this just isn't any MacBook Pro because as you see I do have two of the 15 inch ones. This is actually my first uh, 17 inch one I think I've seen in person and that I've actually ever owned. Anyway, so basically I got this off of eBay for about $70 with a charger as well, so pretty decent deal. Now you may be thinking, so for $70, there has to be something wrong with the unit, right? Well, there kind of is. However, it is not a uh, completely dead motherboard. This uh, this unit's logic board does actually still work fine. Um, unfortunately, the only problem with it is it still has the um, has the uh, defective NVIDIA chipset, not the uh, revised one like these two here have. This actually has the original defective chipset. As I am trying to get this charger here. Oh my god. Anyway, I should probably pull out my tripod, but... Oh, well, I'm not sure. Anyway, so basically, I'm going to be now doing the battle of getting an OS on this guy. I had Mac OS X Yosemite on this guy. However, trying to upgrade to El Capitan gave it some graphical glitches. I may show a picture of it. I actually did catch it doing a graphical distortion. Anyway, so I'm going to go on ahead and plug in a charger real quick. We're going to do this slot. So anyway, the guy actually did throw in the charger for free. And basically, the reason I was able to get it so cheap was mainly because of a screen issue. So um, basically, um, there are a few things with this unit that I am actually rather happy about. Anyway, so um, basically, go on ahead. This does work, right? God, there we go. Anyway, so basically, um, I'll show you what the screen issue is. Actually, I don't need to hook it up quite yet. But anyway, so now first of all, let's get to ports. Um, the 17 inch is a little different from the 15 inch. Um, as you can see, on this side we have a MagSafe charger port, which is for your uh, little charger. If I can show it in enough time. So basically all you gotta do is just plug this in, and it will provide power to the computer, of course. Pretty obvious. And is trip proof. We have two USB 2.0 ports, line-in, headphone jack, and express card 34 slot. Now along the back, I'll go on ahead and show you the screen damage. As you can see here, the screen is starting to separate from the bot, from the actual hinge itself here, which is causing it to kind of cause the screen to flap a lot. And as you can see, it doesn't really hold its position terribly well. So that's that. I might have to get a whole other panel to fix this because it seems the screw post where the screw is here is actually like pulled apart. So yeah, on the back there's nothing much, just the CPU vent. And then along this side of the computer, oh, don't need to mess up the rubber foot. I already ripped one off on accident. As you can see, we have a Kensington lock, a USB 2.0 port, FireWire 400, FireWire 800, an Ethernet port, Gigabit, and a DVI port so you can hook up like an external monitor to it. So anyway, um, and then along the front, simple uh, DVD drive, which this is different from the 15 inches. You can see the 15 inches in the metal itself. The 17 inches is actually part of the polymer. I never really recognized that till now. Uh, the infrared sensor and then your little button for the latch to open up the unit but anyway so i'm gonna go on ahead i'm gonna hook this up it should still be working i don't remember it not working um but basically i'll show you guys just it functioning kind of like as you can see here it does indeed work however the graphics chipset will go out occasionally it's not like permanent as you can see I'll go on ahead and hold it down. Um, it should detect the internal hard drive. As you can see, um, if you look at these icons, everything does look perfectly fine. Now you can now. I bet you a lot of people are saying, "Well, duh. Why don't you just boot to Macintosh hard drive?" Well, because there would be a little bit of an issue here. It doesn't really boot properly. You'll start seeing graphic issues kind of soon. So, basically, what I'm going to do, come on. Instead of uh, putting a lot of stress on this graphics chipset, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually end up putting the hard drive in this white MacBook here so I can install Mac OS Sierra via an unsupported tool. Because for some reason, Yosemite and below will boot on this guy perfectly fine. However, if I try to boot OS X El Capitan, upgrade to El Capitan from uh, Yosemite in the OS, or boot up the Mac OS Sierra bootable from this thumb drive or this OS installer hard drive from here, the, there would be a graphic glitch on the screen, like basically it'd be kind of blue with purple patches and stuff. So kind of that stuff like that. So I'm going to be using this white MacBook here, and I'll just install the MacBook Pro 4 comma 1 patches. But anyway, so that's that. Um, I'm going to go on ahead and start that process. I'm going to take out this one's hard drive. So yeah. Actually, I just wanted to throw this in right quick before I start disassembling the unit. There's two things that actually came with this unit that really did make it worth it. Well, three actually. One, the charger. Two... The RAM is actually up at 4 gigabytes, so kind of the max I would want to sell one of these with, even though I know these will take 6, um, eh, trackpad button's a little sticky. 
However, the one thing that surprised me the most was the display. So the display is the matte display, unlike the uh, glossy, smudgy display, which is the I don't like that. It is the high resolution panel. So instead of it being 1680 by 1050, it's actually 1900 by 1200. So just thought I want just thought I'd throw that in that I did get a few little bonuses with this unit. So yeah, now one thing to mention actually, I forgot to throw this in on the first clip was the bottom of the condition of the unit is in pretty good shape. Um, this rubber foot here was on the unit when I got it. Unfortunately, I moved, I scooted it across my table. Um, one of the rubber feet caught on the edge of the table and ripped it off. So, whoops, my fault. Now, one thing you may notice right here is that this says A1229. Now, that's not true, actually. And there's also no specification sticker in here. I don't know where that went. But anyway, I might just take like a little bit of a thin sharpie and just kind of write it in there. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start disassembly and I will be back. Alright guys, I'm back. As you can see, I did indeed just get the palm rest off, and as you can see in here, um, everything is fine. It's actually really clean inside, as you can see. I'm assuming the guy who sold it originally uh, got it cleaned out, so anyway, um, yeah, decent shape. Um, it does have the original DVD drive, which does work. It initializes. I didn't fully test it. If it doesn't work at the worst, I do have a spare one I can get, or they're only like 20 bucks on eBay, I know. So the next thing I actually am going to do is I'm going to straighten out this corner here because the palm rest doesn't sit properly. However, one thing that surprised me, well, he even wrote 17 inch on this drive. This is the original hard drive. It still works, not very well, um, but it does work. So I'm not sure. I think, I think I see how this holds on. So I see that there's a screw here, screw here, screw here, screw here. I'm not sure. I'll go on iFix and just double check on what I'm doing. But one thing I certainly noticed is the speakers. Look at this on the 17 inch. These speakers are huge. So certainly, I think these speakers will sound pretty nice. I just don't know, because like I said, the graphics chipset keeps fucking up on this thing. Anyway, so um, everything's intact. Um, the LVDS cable is intact and fine there, so I don't see that going out. Also, compared to the 17 inches LVDS cable being here, this one's over here. And it seems as if you don't need to remove the fans to get the logic board out. So a few key component differences. And one thing I do know from fellow YouTuber DosDude1's video is that this uses a CCFL backlight instead of a uh, LED backlight, so cool little bonus there. But anyway, I'm going to go on ahead, get this hard drive out, put it in this computer, install Mac OS Sierra on it, since this one won't fail at all, you know, so I'm going to go on ahead and do that, and I will be back. Alright, hard drive removed, and this one seems in decent shape. Um, okay, so I figured out there's actually two screws. There's one here, there's one here. It holds a bracket here. All I gotta do is pull the hard drive out and take out these uh, rubber grommets and the two screws there, and the hard drive is out. So, yeah. So now it's time to put in the 13 inch MacBook. I'm gonna install Mac OS Sierra to this drive and put the MacBook Pro 4,1 patches on it, and it should, in theory, work. I don't see why it wouldn't. Anyway, so basically now it's time to, um, I have to shut the display in a proper way so that the, uh, did it latch? I think it just did. Nice, okay. So I'm gonna put this guy off to the side, get this guy up and running, and I'll be back once, I guess, I have the hard drive back in this guy, because there's no reason to have this guy mentioned in the video much, so yeah, I will be back. All right, so while this guy is installing Mac OS Sierra on this hard drive in here, what I went on ahead and is I went on ahead and actually just put the hard drive from this guy in here. Now, while the ambient light sensor that these two in here will not work properly, is patched the boot list, the boot.plist file. We'll see if it actually does boot from this hard drive, technically. Oh, oops. Oh. Hey, Alex, it's probably be a wonderful idea if you actually put the RAM in the computer, you dumbass. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Idiot. I know. I'm missing RAM. Well, never mind. I can pull power up off of that. Okay, or never mind of that. <laughs> Clearly forgot about that. Oh, well. Hmm. Who's going to be a RAM donor? I don't know. I'll think of one. Anyway, I'll be back once there's actually RAM in this machine. Dumbass. Alright, guys. I am back. And as you can see, I have the uh, Hitachi hard drive, as you can see, March of 08 instead of October of 09. And we're going to leave that little pull tab out there because that looks really professional. Anyway. So I finished the install on the MacBook and I put MacBook Pro 4 comma 1 patches. Now it did attempt to boot in this thing, so it should in theory work. RAM is not seated properly. What does three beeps mean? I know the RAM is seated properly, I know it is. Oh well. You know what, we're going to do this on camera, actually. Saul, why the hell your MacBook Pro that's totally not really ghetto is not booting? Nah, don't want to, like, 
throw this thing all over the table. Anything that, oh, oops, um, that was <laughs> not supposed to happen. Nope, stay, stay down, stay down, okay. So we're going to take out this RAM module right here as best as I can with one hand. Can I take this out single-handedly? I just buy my, buy my, with my one hand, okay. Now we're going to test, uh, hopefully, hopefully it's just that the RAM modules are misseated. Maybe it's that it doesn't like the hard drive I just put in. I don't know. It is now triple beeping on me. I don't know. Maybe the RAM, maybe the RAM banks just all of a sudden went bad on me. I don't know. Um, we're going to go ahead and just put in one stick of RAM, test it out. Let's see. Um, I probably should have done this off camera. This is actually a little more difficult than it seems. Uh, is it in there properly? That is not in there properly. Dumbass. You need to know how to put in RAM. This is important. You fucking dumbass. Get the hell out of there. And by the way, for any uh, Google viewer that wants to demonetize or bitch about my video, I am calling myself a dumbass, not my viewers, just by the way. So, a stupid demonetization bullshit. Okay, I'm doing this off camera. This is too hard. Alright, just got back from reseeding the RAM. Attempt number two. Now that is much better. Instead of having it beeping me, getting all pissed off. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy to seed in RAM on this thing for some reason with this. Now, it should detect the hard drive. I did plug it in, I know. Oop. Maybe it didn't. Oh, no, I did. Nice. Enter. It should boot. Why, yes it is. Um, I don't... I think it's still at a setup, though. I don't know. What are we going to do? It's probably detecting all sorts of new hardware. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to end up propping this up on two little wooden blocks... I'm taking this little desk fan down here and aiming it underneath so it blows the heat off of the GPU and stuff so that therefore it doesn't uh, potentially graphic distort on this thing. So anyway, I will be back once this thing has booted up successfully. Well, successfully, I hope. Anyway, I will be back once that is done. Alright, so this is the setup. As you can see, I'm actually going to turn off the fan so you guys can hear me. As you can see, I have a little fan. It's kind of lifted up on these little wooden blocks I have here. So yeah, this is the setup. It's... I, please don't graphic distort. Just boot and work. That's all I need you to do. I'm going to send this thing in for a GPU repair anyway to a company, but oh well. I hope it boots. Just okay, this is taking a while. Come on. Oh well. Yay, I had to reboot. It actually gave graphical distortion on the screen. Just kind of went blue and purple patch just for like a split second. Something tells me this is not going to work. I'm not too sure. But, you know, that's whatever. Um, eh, yeah. I don't know if you heard me the first time, but something tells me this isn't going to work. <laughs> ah, well, that's fine. Um, I don't think the fan's going to be doing much of anything. It is moving quite a bit of air. I've done this before, so I know it does. Um, okay. I want to see if I can catch it on video so you guys can see what I'm talking about as to what it does, but it's probably not going to do it this time. Heck, I might be better off if, if I pull the SSD out of this machine here and put it into this one because then it'll boot faster so it'll get past that GPU error it keeps wanting to have for some reason. I don't know why. Um, okay. Yeah, this thing I know has a defective GPU. It's already, it's giving a bunch of graphical glitches and stuff. It's not doing it now, of course, but it should be soon. At least I want it to. Like I said, if y'all don't see it on camera... Oh, well, there we go. Just got it on camera. <laughs> yeah, this thing is not doing well. Um, let's see. We got a mouse cursor. Because I know on Mac OS when it boots up and it gets past the EFI boot, you can have a little mouse cursor up here. We don't have that. Yep, something tells me this thing is not going to get an OS. All right, so simple as that. This thing's just not going to have an OS until I fix the GPU, which I'm going to actually end up selling this to someone with a, re with a repair of GPU. So, yeah, well, that was the adventure of trying to get a 17-inch MacBook Pro with a defective GPU up and running, which I did have Yosemite on this machine. It did work. It's just hard to get an OS on this thing because it really, really, the GPU is being stubborn. So, yeah. Anyway, I know it, I know that Mac OS disk works because it was able to boot in this machine. Heck, like I said, I might just take the SSD out of this machine here because I plan on disassembling this guy here and seeing what GPU it has. I know this one on the bottom has a revised one. I might check if this one does. I don't know. Mm, well, whatever. I guess this was an attempt of it, but anyway, so here's the inside again if y'all want to see that. So this was a failed attempt of doing this. I'll still post it anyway just because I was actually able to get this thing for a pretty good price. I mean, at worst, if I really can't, don't want to salvage this thing, the panel itself is worth about 100 because it's the high-resolution panel, the 1900 by 1200. 
display. But anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed. This was me trying to repair a 17-inch Apple MacBook Pro. This corner's a little right now, so it actually does sit more flush. It's kind of nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I really do hope I can actually get this thing up and running. If I do, I'll post a second video of that. But anyway, so I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.